Hello and welcome to this uh, special council meeting of the town of Oakville. And um, Madam Clerk, I understand we have regrets from a few. Yes, Mr. Mayor, we have regrets from uh, Councillor Demoff, Councillor Adams, and Councillor Robinson. Thank you. Councillor, are there any declarations of pecuniary interest? Madam Clerk, I see none. And uh, look at that. Councillor Robinson has forgotten his regrets and joined us. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Council, the first item with us today is the uh, Canada 150 Community Infrastructure Program submission. And you have a report from the Commissioner. I wonder, uh, Mr. Green, would you like to make a, any introductory remarks about the uh, the nature of this request from the federal government, the short time frames, the, the uncertainty about uh, how it will proceed? Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mayor Burton, and I do appreciate very much uh, members of council coming out for this special meeting, because as the mayor says, there was a very short time frame uh, that was put together for this program. Uh, members of council have probably seen things about two, two and a half weeks ago in the news about this program coming, and June 9th is the submission date. Uh, the program uh, uh, is a 150 million across Canada. They expect there to be about uh, 1,800 projects. Projects are capped at a maximum of 1 million as a contribution from the federal government. And as they've indicated in the material that we had a chance to look at, um, uh, the preference will be given to those projects that only require a one-third funding, even though it could be up to a max of. Uh, uh, 50 percent. Uh, the programs are, are directed towards projects which are infrastructure related from a rehab, not necessarily a new build. Uh, they have to have some cultural value, some heritage value. And so as staff, we got together, put together a list of uh, five projects at varying values um, that fit the criteria. And uh, we are recommending that this be our list. We've put them in a in a waterfront. Or sorry, I just got the first project in an order where we we had the greater value at the top end, recognizing uh, that we'd be looking at fitting these projects into our capital forecast should no funds come uh, available. Uh, we do have a brief presentation if you'd like it at this point in time that would speak to each of the projects, and I would leave that with uh, council. Councillor Duddick. I'd be pleased to move it to uh, your worship. They've provided us a chart which has provided us with all the fulsome details. So unless somebody else has any questions, I'd be pleased to move it. Thank you for the motion. Is there a seconder? Councillor Noel seconds. Any discussion? Everyone happy with the suggestions? Councillor O'Meara. Sorry, the, I, and I'm, I'm happy with the suggestions and with the motion. I, my, my comment um, that I would like to make, and I, and I come back to it as, as I did in the budget um, committee as well, is, is in terms of an ongoing sort of recyclable program that we could implement. I mean, even though it seems to be a shock to the provincial and federal governments when this sort of thing happens to all municipalities, it is not uh, a shock. And, and, and I'm wondering, instead of continuing to have special council meetings and priorities and agendas and projects that show up and we don't know where they're from or where they're going, is there any way that we can come up with a system whereby we as council get to review projects on a tertiary list, on an ongoing basis, where we know what we've prioritized, where we know what we would like to see should provincial or federal funding become available in a bit more of a systemic way that is predictable to council and to staff. Um, and I'm wondering, um, Mr. Green, perhaps if you can just let me know if there's a way we can do that. Uh, through you, Mayor Burton, to the councillor. Um, I mean, one of the things you never know is what the dollar value of the nature of the programs might be. So that, that can uh, uh, certainly change. Uh, this particular program has a heritage cultural aspect to it. Uh, a lot of our large needs are more transportation oriented. Uh, but we recognize, and some of these come along with a very short time frame. Sometimes they have to be shovel ready. Sometimes you actually have a, a considerable length of time. Uh, to, to manage them. However, as the executive group, we've had discussions uh, 
uh, over the last uh, month or so about actually preparing a number of projects that we'd be recommending to council. You know what? On a speculative basis, we should take them farther along in the design and put on a list so that you have to pick projects that can sit on a shelf that don't become stale. So there's one of the things. So we will be looking at over the coming, especially when we come to you with the capital forecast in the fall, and we can indicate these are some of the projects that we're readying. In some cases, we'd have to spend money, soils or engineering reports, things that you have to do. But these, we believe, have value to sit on a shelf. And if another project, if a special funding project doesn't come along, we'll integrate them into our capital forecast. If something comes along early, that. So we are looking at doing exactly that. But it would be hard to cover every situation. No, understandable. Thank you very much. It's, I think that provides a little, a little reassurance to council so we know what, what, what and when these things might come up. Thank all right. Um, any other discussion? Shall I put the vote? Yes. Councillor Grant? It's actually just minor from my own interest. I, I thought the deadline for this was Friday last week. So did we get an extension or? No, I think there was an early rumor that it was uh, last Friday the 31st, but we did confirm it actually goes to June the 9th. Advanced it offline, but I was just interested. It's a different Friday. <laughs> At least the Friday part was right, I think. Anyway, uh, good news that we're still in time. Well then, any other questions? All in favor? Opposed to Finney, and that carries. It brings us to the second item, the only other item before us today. Um, and uh, um, because I, I, I wish to present this, I, I think under our procedure, I should pass the chair to the acting mayor, uh, Councillor Hutchins. Thank you uh, for recognizing me, Mr. Chair. Uh, Council, I'd like to, I pass this out to you, I'd like to read it for the benefit of the public and, and as you read along. Uh, Whereas the strength of the Canadian economy and the livelihoods of Canadians are directly related to the livability of the municipalities in which Canadians live, work, raise families and retire. And whereas Canadian municipalities deliver emergency and protection services through police, fire and ambulance, and courts, hospitals, transit, transportation infrastructure for vehicles and active modes of mobility, schools, green space protection, parkland, recreation, libraries, water, wastewater, and solid waste services and economic development and infrastructure maintenance and renewal. And whereas the property tax is not a sustainable revenue source for municipalities to meet the many and increasing obligations and responsibilities demanded by the public and those which were downloaded from the federal and provincial governments, especially the costs of growth, and whereas Canadian municipalities must serve the needs of an increasingly mobile, globally connected, diverse population with growing complex needs and expectations that require increasing degrees of administrative flexibility and responsiveness. And whereas the province of Ontario provided the city of Toronto broad new powers and significant new legislative freedoms in 2006, promising to roll them out to other municipalities after evaluating their use in the city of Toronto. And whereas the success of the options accorded the city of Toronto may be seen in the province's continued provision of them and the absence of any requests from the City of Toronto for removal of any of the provided freedom, powers, accountability, or administrative options. And whereas the Town of Oakville and all other municipalities would benefit from having the same legislative flexibility in addressing the increased demands of Canadians. Therefore, be it resolved that this Council endorses equal status for Ontario municipals, municipalities and recommends to the Province of Ontario that all Ontario municipalities have equal access through the Municipal Act and all other applicable legislation to the same powers and administrative options accorded by the province to any other Ontario municipal to any Ontario municipality. And, and Council, if I could speak to this. For several years, we've been engaged as a group in lobbying uh, for uh, a better deal for Halton and a better deal for Oakville. And the time has come in discussions with um, 
the premier that the mayors, the, the other mayors and I of the uh, GTA H are having, that this is a timely resolution to bring before uh, the provincial government. And uh, it would assist me in representing you on these long held goals of ours if not only could we pass this, but pass it unanimously with a roll call vote, with a, a recorded vote. And, uh, and to that end, I'm, I hope that someone will uh, second it and, and that others of you will support it. Will anybody second it? Councillor Noble. Thank you. Any discussions? I think a recorded vote was called for. We have. I just have a question of His Worship. Are the other municipalities along with you in this, Your Worship? Yes, Councillor. And, and not only that, but in this particular case, they're looking to us for leadership and we'll be first. Oh, good. So, Thank you. So uh, it's one of those times when we get to lead. Thank you. We do that quite a bit, you know. Thank you. Councillor No. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, uh, I, I totally support, this is such a good idea and it's a great resolution. Um, uh, one thing I'm going to suggest, I mean, it's probably uh, obvious anyway, but should we not put something in there that we do circulate this to other municipalities uh, to seek their endorsement? Uh, in this particular case, I'd, I'd request that we leave out that, that sort I call that housekeeping. Okay. And uh, trust me, I'll be circulating it everywhere. I kind of figured you would anyway. Be carrying it in your pocket and so on I think blogs. It's, and I think it's stronger if it ends cleanly on the request. Okay. My only comment is, once again, I, I full, firmly support this. It's time to end the, uh, the favored child status that Toronto has over the rest of the province. It's like having a group of children, and you love them all equally, but you love one more equally than the other. And that's, that's the unfortunate situation that Ontario has been in for uh, a number of years now. And um, the tools that the city has had um, uh, have, to their avail have been very beneficial to the operation of that municipality and I, I do believe honestly that uh, it was an unfair circumstance that it was uh, the Act, City of Toronto Act was created in the first place um, and it's time to uh, level the playing field so that all municipalities um, can uh, have the same uh, opportunities as Toronto does because the people of Ontario all deserve the same rights. Uh, as every other person in the province of Ontario. So uh, I am uh, completely in favor of this, pleased to second it, and look forward to uh, seeing the mayor push this boulder up the hill. Anybody else? <clears throat> then I will call for a recorded vote. <clears throat> All in favor? <laughs> <laughs> Councillor Grant, Councillor Noel, Lapworth, Alga, yes, yes. Don't forget Mayor Burton. Mayor Burton. <laughs> I apologize, Mayor Burton. Myself, Dave Giddings, Kathy, Kathy Duck, <laughs> Ralph Robinson, and what's your name? Oh, yes. <laughs> Sean. All the opposed? None? Carried. Thank you. Uh, for the support. It's very important and I appreciate it. Thank you very much, Acting Mayor Hutchins. You did a fine job for your first time out and you'll be ready for June 15th now. Hopefully. You've, you've trained him, Council. Um, if we uh, turn now to the rest of our agenda, you'll find that we need a mover and seconder for the bylaw. Councillor O'Meara and Councillor Duddick. All those in favor? Opposed, if any? That's carried. That completes our brief but very important agenda on two different fronts, and I thank you very much for your time and attention. It's great working with you, and we are adjourned.